Hey guys, recently I made a purchase on Amazon of the Moleskin Watercolor Album and the Windsor & Newton Skechers Pocket Box. So I wanted to do a little unpackaging of these two uh, with you and I'll do a little review as well. Alright, so I think I'll start with this album. I've been really excited about opening this and seeing the quality of the paper. This is my first Moleskin watercolor album. And they come in a landscape format. So if you watched my Miami video, I show this moleskin, which is their Art Plus edition, and that's where you can see this is gouache here, and I did a bit of watercolor right here. But as you can see, it soaks through. Got some marker on the other side of that page. All right, now let's take a closer look. This Windsor & Newton Skechers Pocket Box. There's a few different versions of these on Amazon, but I ended up getting the cheapest one just to see if I liked it or not. It's really a great size. It's going to be really easy to carry that around. Okay, so inside here comes with this little brush, which I've read isn't very useful, but I do like how portable it is. I like that. Alright, so here we have lemon yellow, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, alizarin crimson, ultramarine, Intense phthalo blue, viridian, sap green, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, burnt umber, and Chinese white. A lot of people don't like pans because it takes a while to really dig the color out of there. But for traveling, it is, which I do a lot, is the uh, best option for me. And I heard a lot about how vibrant these colors come out when using them, even though you do have to dig a bit for the colors. Okay, so I just unwrapped the first little palette here, or the first little um, cake here, and I noticed it has the color marked right there, Viridian Hue, on the actual cake itself. So that's nice because when it runs out, you can actually order more of the exact color. So I'll have it there and know exactly what I need. All right, so I got all my pigments unwrapped now. Uh, I also wanted to mention that the pocket box comes with three little spots to mix your colors. But before I do any mixing, I actually wanted to make this little chart. So I glued all the wrappers from the actual colors here, kind of for reference for myself too, to see where the colors are. And over here, I just have like a mirrored chart to show you and myself what the colors look like on the paper. So I decided I will start with using the actual brush that came with the set. But if it ends up not working very well, I also have the... I also have these Windsor Newton University series in number five and three that I will turn to. Honestly, I love all the colors that came with this set. I might skip the white when reordering colors though. As for all the others, I knew they'd be vibrant, but not even this video can do them justice. It feels like the best quality watercolor I've ever used. And the colors provided are the perfect combination to paint anything, really. It didn't take too long to get the color out of the cakes, and they're surprisingly opaque as well. I'll be switching to those Windsor & Newton University brushes I showed earlier, as the one that came with this set is a bit too thin. I'll just save it for the fine lines. Okay, so now I just sketched out a little scene using Prismacolor watercolor pencils, and it's actually what I see out the window in front of me.
the Moleskin watercolor sketchbook. I haven't used it much after filming this. But these watercolors have worked wonderfully in my Moleskin Art Plus edition. I think I actually prefer using them on the smooth paper. Of course, they also work wonderfully on watercolor paper by Strathmore. Definitely my favorite surface to use them on so far. So, Windsor & Newton Sketchers Pocketbook, big thumbs up. But as for the watercolor Moleskin, eh, only if you really want a landscape-oriented watercolor journal. I'll have Amazon links to both of these items in my description in case you decide to purchase either. Hope this video helped. Bye!